Well, we know what's going on here. That's right. Tomorrow's Cinco de Mayo. We got all the stuff. We're doing pork carnitas. That's right. We're going to do some chili verde. Some refried beans. Took me a while, but I found the stuff. This is it right here. Cane sugar. So anyway, we're going to make uh, fresh corn tortillas. So me and the dogs are going to have a little party tomorrow, a little feast. All right, so here we go with our refried beans. We've started them up. We've got two and a half cups of beans, six cups of water. We got a little bit of bacon. I cut off a little bit of the pork fat in here with a little bit of the meat. I got two cloves of garlic, salt and pepper. We're going to put this on. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to slow cook this um, for uh, well, as long as it takes. A few hours anyway. And then we'll let them cool off and then tomorrow uh, we'll refry them. Alright, 6 a.m. Cinco de Mayo. Cooking up the carne asada. Getting that nice brown. We got the refried beans already cooked here. And we got some ingredients going in and... Of course, we're going to put in our Coca-Cola, but uh, as soon as that uh, pork gets done going, we're going to take the beans there, and we're going to cook them in some of this, uh, this grease here. So, looking good so far. Okay, now that we browned off our pork here, oh God, it smells good. I've got oh, about five or six cloves of garlic in here. I've got an orange. I'm going to put a little Coca-Cola in there. I got a bay leaf. And I'm going to add some water. And I've got some leftover fat here. Okay, and that's where our refried beans are going to go. But anyway, let's get this started. This has got to go six or seven hours. But we're well on our way to some delicious goodness. All right, now that we've got the pork in the crock pot going, we're going to do our beans. I got a little bit of fat here. Traditionally, they're going to use lard. I'm just going to use the fat, and we're going to refry these. Oh, yeah. Yep, let me stir these all around. I'll cook them, and we should be good to go here in about 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, this is the real deal, my friends. There's many ways to cook Mexican food. And Having these beans this way, I love it. You could put onions or anything else you want, but I'm letting this thicken up a little bit. I've smashed some of them beans. Oh boy. All right, so we got about an hour left with this carnitas. And this is carnitas. Oh, look at that. Just pull apart. Yeah. Doesn't that just look good? So we're going to let that finish off and cool down. It's time to start making the chili verde. And what I'll do is I'll take this out and I'm going to put it uh, back on the stove there and uh, fry it up a little bit, make a little crisp. Okay, we're ready to make our green chili uh, salsa verde. Definitely want to take and wash off your tomatillos. I've got some jalapenos. Got to take the stems off there. They're all washed and some, some uh, serrano chilies. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to boil them, boil them for a little bit. And since I've got such a small blender, I'm going to be putting everything in here. My avocados, my cilantro, my onion, my garlic, uh, maybe a, a little bit of uh, lemon and lime. We're going to mix it all up into here. Should be pretty good. Yo quiero taco, bell. All right, we got everything going here. Uh, I'm just putting in the avocados right now. I'm gonna let that go. We'll take a taste test and see how she goes. All right, add a little bit of lime juice and all oh, that salsa verde with avocado is outstanding. We've got our uh, carnitas, our pork carnitas right here. Oh, just look at that. It just falls right apart. Oh, gonna let that cool down some. We've got our refried beans over here. They're looking pretty good. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some uh, homemade 
corn tortillas. I'm going to wait a couple hours, let everything cool down. It's still kind of early, but uh, that's next. Okay, so I've got my masa corn flour and just some balls here. I'm going to let them sit underneath the towel for just a little bit. And then uh, this is some of the carnitas. You can see here, it just falls right apart. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to brown up a little bit of this. Just a little bit. But I'll be doing that in a moment. We're going to have some tacos and uh, with some of the chile verde salsa and some refried beans. Uh, we'll show you that here in a bit. All right, well, I'm ready to go here. You're supposed to have a tortilla press, but in between this big Ziploc baggie, I've used a pan or a couple paper uh, plates and squashed it down. So let's make a few of these. It's kind of cool. This is a no-stick pan and no oil or nothing. They slide real nice. And there you go, my friends, carnitas tacos with homemade refried beans and some chili verde salsa. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Mm -mm.